So in the chapter called delegation, uh, one of my clients is uh, one of his coaching goals is to better delegate and be also uh, elevating to a strategic uh, level. And so as we were working together in a six month engagement and um, one day we we're sitting together, I said, what happens um, when you are not delegating what do you tend to do he says well i tend to just go do the things myself and in the morning i come to the office i go straight to my computer and i just start typing handling issues and he was demonstrating with me typing like like this right and i said um what would you do instead instead of doing that in the morning go straight to the computer and start typing and handling issues if you want to delegate better what would you do instead what would your body do differently he thought about it. He goes, well, I guess I just won't open my computer to start typing. I will be kind of processing what's coming my way for the day or for the week. And then thinking about how can I be strategic? What can I delegate? Be intentional about it. Then I, well, that's the mind. That's his thinking. Then I wanted to invite the body in there, in here to help him accelerate the change. Because many times we want to change. We don't make the change. And so I said, is there something that your body can a small gesture, small movement can can inform you, can can tell you to do that, remind you that in the morning, don't start typing on the computer, but actually thinking about uh, delegation and being strategic. So he thought about it for a second. He goes, how about this? I think I can do this. He did this. Okay, let me see if you can see me. He takes a breath in like this. He does this. I said, what does that mean? And he goes, this is what that means. When I bring my arms in, I'm actually evaluating what I have on my plate. I take a breath in to evaluate, not doing anything. And I straighten my spine so I can be more strategic in thinking. And then I take a breath out and push it out. This movement of the outward movement of pushing is a reminder for him to delegate. And so I said, well, that's brilliant. If that that's what your body is telling you, then, uh, you know, did you want to give that a try? So he said, I will. He was trying to practice this about three, four times a day. And he, every time he does that, he takes a breath in, evaluate, sits up tall and take a breath out and push it out. And as he is practicing this embodiment practice or this physical practice, he's thinking his mind, taking my time, be strategic and delegate. So that, um, connection or associative learning is happening together. So um, the, the, the cells that uh, fire together, wire together. So as he uh, does this physical sequence or this movement, he's thinking about delegation and being more strategic. And that is what gets embedded into his memory. And as he practiced a few times a day for a few weeks, it became a lot more natural for him. And it serves as a reminder to be delegating and not start typing. Instead of this, that's one example of using the body to help him accelerate the change he wanted.